Hi there guys, this is Benjamin here and welcome to this new training series on how to succeed with Solo S Part 1. Now this is a new and complete tutorial series whereby I'm going to start talking about the basics pertaining to what are Solo S, the advantages, disadvantages of Solo S. From there, moving on to talk about the entire email marketing process flow and why are we using Solo S as our main traffic to build our email list. Talking about the email autoresponders, the different kind of squeeze pages that we were designed by using lead pages how we use a third-party tracking tool to start building our respective buyer's email list. So if this is something of interest to you, please do remember to hit the subscribe button for this video, subscribe to my channel, turn on your notification bell so that you will receive at first notice whenever I upload videos like this. So guys, in this part one of the entire tutorial series, let's discuss the three main factors, namely, number one, what are solo ads? Number two, the advantages of solo S traffic. And number three, the disadvantages of solo S traffic. So let's start off with what are solo ads. When you purchase solo S, effectively, you are buying clicks from this thing called solo ad vendors, myself inclusive. Now, what exactly are clicks and what exactly are solo ad vendors? How does this whole process work? You see, solo ad vendors like myself, we have a large and responsive email list on our hand. So from there, let's say, for example, you're going to order 1,000 clicks from me. What happens is I will need your tracking URL or the URL of your landing page. And subsequently, I'm going to insert this link into my email marketing process to blast out my emails to all my subscribers. The moment all my subscribers have clicked, which is unique subscribers, by the way, all right, if one person click it twice, it does not count as two. It just counts as one. So the moment 1,000 different unique subscribers have clicked on your link and landed on your landing page, I have fulfilled all my orders. This also means to say, no solo ad vendors is able to promise you any form of sales, no matter how good the lists are. Because it really depends, end of the day, how you send out your email marketing campaigns the moment all these leads land into your respective email autoresponder. It also depends on what is the kind of conversion rate of your squeeze page. It also definitely depends on what kind of offer are you promoting on your very front end. All right, so as explained to you guys just now, all these clicks will be directed to your respective squeeze page and it will be a best practice. In fact, I would say almost compulsory that whenever you order clicks from solo ad vendors, go for this thing called the tracking links. Now, in subsequent parts of this entire training series, I'm going to share with you guys the usage of our third-party software called Optin Dojo. And how exactly can you generate out your respective tracking links and start ordering clicks to build up your email list? Now, last but not least, I mentioned just now also one of the things, which is your squeeze page conversion rate. Now, squeeze page design times, there are so many ways to design a squeeze page. By the way, for those of you guys who are completely new, so what exactly is a squeeze page? It's just a one page website, all right, a single page website with the main objective of collecting information from your solo as traffic respectively, first name, and as well says, their email addresses. All right, so that is the main objective of a squeeze page, to collect information from your traffic. Now, different squeeze page designs namely cater for different kind of traffic out there. Solo S traffic is just one of the many kind of traffic. You have other form of traffic that could call, um, for example, Facebook ads traffic, Google ads traffic, TikTok organic traffic, or even TikTok ads traffic. All right, so there are many, many different kinds of traffic out there that you can find in the marketplace. So with that being said, now, Ben, you might be asking, what exactly is the advantages or rather the, are, are the advantages of solo S traffic? Now, solo S traffic, no matter how you look at it, is definitely the simplest way to start building your email list. The reason for that is because if you're going to master things like Google Ads, Bing Ads, Facebook Ads, TikTok Ads, it definitely takes an entire learning process again, all right, an entire steep learning curve. But whenever you're purchasing solo ads traffic from solo ad vendors, all you need to do is to provide your tracking URL or if you don't have a tracking tool, your squeeze page URL. And from there, select what kind of tier are you looking for. Like for example, you only want tier one country traffic, which is namely uh, places from like Australia, New Zealand, Canada, United States and UK. All right, so this is all the tier one traffic or you can choose not to have tier one traffic. All right, and then from there, you can just place the order. Simple. All right, it's the simplest way to start building your email list. So with that being said, of course, it will be the easiest to test as well as to scale your clicks. For example, if you notice that this particular solo ad vendor is giving you enough responsive email leads, 
and this responsiveness of the email list is resulting into quite a fair bit of sales for you and you're able to generate back the return on investment of your initial in investment when you first bought the clicks all right definitely not at the front end but also including all your back end metrics so from there if you want to scale your clicks in terms of building your email list faster and getting more sales so then all you need to do is just to purchase more clicks from their respective solo ad vendors all right now another advantage of solo ad traffic it is not something that requires you to stand by a huge lump sum of investment unlike paid traffic I would usually say if you don't have at least five thousand United States dollar, don't try paid traffic. All right. When I mean paid traffic, I'm talking about Google Ads, Bing Ads, Facebook Ads, that kind of thing. In fact, five thousand United States dollar is really the bare minimum. Right? Don't go for something which is like one two thousand dollars. I almost can ninety percent guarantee you that you will lose money. Reason for that is you have not even tested things like ad creatives, ad groups. You know, you do not even know how to optimize your campaign yet and you're just blindly following what you see on YouTube videos. Guys, please don't do that. High chance, very high chance, in fact, that you're going to lose money. So after talking about the advantages of solo ads traffic, let's now discuss about what exactly are the disadvantages of solo ads traffic. Now, solo ads traffic can be very niche specific, but it is unsure of whether the leads are of laser targeted or of high quality. Now, when I mean niche specific, like for example, you might be somebody who is interested in the make money online niche, then you will find solo ad vendors that cater to clicks pertaining to that niche, make money online. Or if you're in the health niche, then you look for solo ad vendors that provide health clicks. Okay, now when I mean laser targeted, I'm talking about, are these people interested in that particular offer at this point in time? All right. Now, of high quality, what essentially it means is, do they have the money after being interested to purchase the offer that you are promoting or the offer that you are selling. All right, so solo ads traffic can be very niche specific, but we are definitely unsure of whether it's laser targeted or of high quality. That is the reason why you have to really continue to learn from this entire training series on how exactly do we siphon out the laser targeted and high quality traffic from the solo ads traffic. Secondly, it's commonly misunderstood as the simplest way to make money online. Sad to say, there are a lot of creators, even on this platform on YouTube, that always claim that when you purchase solo ads clicks, you know, go for the front end sales. Some solo ad vendors even go to the extent of telling you that, you know, if you purchase my click, I guarantee that you will recover all your investments at the very first run. Guys, this is total rubbish. Total rubbish. When you are trying to purchase solo ads traffic, okay, I mentioned this in several of my previous videos. Only one in a thousand times will you see a return on investment, all right? Only one in a thousand times will you see a, re a positive return on investment from your capital. Which means if you have invested $500 to purchase all the clicks from this particular solo ad vendor, you have to purchase $500 consistently for 1,000 times and only one of the 1,000 times will you see a return of more than $500. The 999 times at the very front end is all losing money for sure. Why? Because the money is in the list and the real money is in the buyer's email list. All right. It is not about the front end sales offer that we are after. It's about what we do with the leads once we capture into our email to responder and start embarking into our respective email marketing campaigns. That really matters, especially in terms of segmenting all your raw leads into buyers list C, buyers list B, as well as buyers list A, which I'll discuss more in details in the subsequent parts of this entire training series. Now, thirdly, I mentioned this several times as well. Rook solo ad vendors. All right. I know that on Facebook, there are a lot of solo ad vendors. Even until now, I'm still receiving messages, you know, from Facebook, especially when they are promoting their clicks to me. I don't purchase any. All right. For my case, I don't purchase any clicks from anyone that approached me on Facebook. So if you happen to be somebody who had approached me before on Facebook, you know the reason why I don't purchase any clicks from you. Now, the reason is this. If your clicks are good, you think there's a need for you to actively look for customers? You don't have to. Like for my case, even though I'm a solo ad vendor, I do post, um, you know, advertisements. I would say free advertisements on different Facebook groups on people who are interested on solo ads traffic. But I do not go around DMing everyone here and there talking about, hey, would you like to try my clicks? That kind of thing. I don't need to do that because I know my clicks are of high quality. All right. In fact, it has been testified several times even by my own inner circle members or right, my own students who have purchased my clicks. And from there, they can see the responsiveness of my email list and they can get the sales once they start building their email list. So whenever you see solar vendors approaching you, tell you that, hey, how much are you purchasing your clicks for? 50 cents. Oh, I can offer you for 20 cents, 25 cents, 15 cents. Please run. 
Nowadays, solo vendors are also very smart. What they will say is, oh, I understand you're in the make money online niche. You are trying to make money online. May I know what kind of offer are you promoting? Do you mind sending me a link? So from there, you can start to get excited. Oh, maybe this person is interested to purchase my affiliate offer. So you provide the link. The next thing that they'll tell you is, wow, your offer is really good. I tell you what, why not you purchase my clicks and I'm pretty sure that you'll get a return on investment, a positive return on investment rather, all right, once you purchase my clicks. So this whole thing is really messing up the entire social media platform. I say it again, if your clicks are good, you don't have to actively promote it. People will come to you, all right, because the results speak for themselves. So this effectively concludes part one on this entire new complete training series on how to succeed with solo ads. Despite talking about all the advantages and disadvantages, in summary, I would dare to tell you 70, 80 or even 90% of my existing email list of more than 100,000 subscribers come from solo ads. So despite all these advantages, so long as you know how to deal with the traffic once it enters your email autoresponder, you will definitely make a positive return end of the day. Earning 5,000, 10,000, 20, 30,000 is not an issue at all. The only issue is please understand solo ads traffic well. The psychology of people who opted into your squeeze page, these people are called a raw list. They are not the same type of traffic that you would find on places like Facebook ads, Google ads, all right? So if you don't like solo ads traffic, then go and master Google ads, Facebook ads, you know, those kind of paid advertising platforms, whereby minimally you need at least to stand by ready 5,000 US dollars. You see, when it comes to paid advertising like this, why I say 5,000? Because the moment when you tested the correct kind of ad creative to mix and match with the correct type of ad group, don't waste time. You have to start scaling. For example, if let's say today you are just testing based on $10 per day or $20 per day, let's say. The moment you start scaling, you have to put in something like a 30% markup on a daily basis. So today is 20, tomorrow will be 26, the day after will be $30, followed by $40, so and so forth. In a matter of less than one week, you'll start to see that your daily budget instead of 20 becoming $100 per day. All right? This is called scaling. So you cannot afford to have things like, oh, let me wait until I have the money, then I start to scale. By that time, the optimization would have gone. Okay, so if you just want something that is smooth, easy for you to build your email list, welcome to this entire training series. Like what I say again, remember to subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss out on any of the subsequent parts of this training. Okay, guys, so I'll see you in part two. Take care.